Okay, for bag rooting, we're going to start with our cuttings. And as you can see, they already have a rooting hormone powder on the end. And then we, uh, I use pleated sandwich bags, the cheap little thin ones. Uh, a lot of people think that the Ziplocs are too thick, the plastic's too thick, and it sticks to the roots and breaks them off. Uh, I think I've had a little more success with this than with the Ziplocs, and they're cheaper. Uh, I use a size 32 rubber band. Uh, I've got the little uh, pin so we can write the date on it. Then I use a coconut core as the main rooting medium, and then I put a little pumice inside of it. Okay, so basically we start with the uh, sandwich bag. I'm going to write the date on it so that I know how long it takes to root. <clears throat> then I'm going to take it. And the coconut core is just a little damp. It's got it's a little wetness to it. It's not soaking, but it's not dry. Uh, you actually want a little bit of dampness in this. Uh, I put a full, pretty much a full handful in there, and then I just took a take a partial handful of the pumice and put it in. And I just kind of mix it up so it's looking good in there. And uh, <clears throat> that's a pretty good mix. Probably do a little more pumice. All right, now I'm going to take my, uh, my cutting and uh, just stick it in there and grab it backwards like this. And it's important at this point to try and get this to inflate uh, so it's full of air. And uh, take the rubber band and put it around it. And just keep going around and around with it. So you got a nice seal. It doesn't let any of the moisture out. And... That's it, no problem.